Hi everyone, Emma here. So I'm getting ready to make another of these lovely bracelets. So this one I made a bit larger. So this one, next one I'm going to make for myself. And I'm going to use all ceramic beads. And I've mixed the beads. So that's a little different. And I'm also going to do a different color leather. So this is gorgeous orange um, natural orange leather and it's one of my favorites so I will post the link for Exotica leather and uh, the best quality and the cheapest prices so definitely uh, you want to check them out if you need leather I wouldn't buy leather by the meter I would buy it by a roll like this this comes in this is a 50 meter roll um, a 100 meter more roll is like double this, like higher. So there you go. I think this one's a 50. Yeah, there's, that's a 50 as well. So what you need is, these are 2 millimeter leather. That's all I ever use. And um, they do have smaller stuff. I don't find, I don't like working with it. I don't, it doesn't... It's not strong enough for what I want it. So yeah, I go with the two millimeter. It lasts a lifetime. If you make a bracelet with it, if it falls apart, it will fall apart at the um, the closures. So those things you can always fix, but you'll never see it break at the leather. And then you're going to need some type of button, hopefully a button that's large enough that the shank will fit two strands of leather. So I have this lovely uh, Raven's Journey button. You can get these from Art Beads as well. Um, and I think Jill Wiseman sells them as well. So and they're reasonably priced. They're so beautiful. They're hand painted and everything like you can't go wrong. So this was the one that I made in the previous video. So let's take a look at the more. I wanted something that was brighter like to kind of get that feeling of spring happening so I feel like these look like apples different colored apples and stuff so yeah and then definitely the orange so what I did was I cut um, six times so in the previous video I cut five times of 12 inch all in one strand and uh, I found it was a bit short on the end so on the ends, I usually um, put little knots at the end of the leather, but there wasn't enough leather at the end to do that. So I ended up doing this and uh, finishing off with a crimp cover. And actually, I think it turned out pretty nice. So that matches that. So we'll see what we do when we get to this one. So I went ahead and I cut... I took the big long strand, I did six times 12 inches, and um, I um, I cut it in half, then I found the midpoint and put it through the button. So now we're going to put a barrel knot here. You don't have to do a barrel knot, you can just do something like this. Put your button through. And now that's a lot of strands for a regular knot, but if you don't want to mess with the barrel knot, you can do something like that. I would tighten it, but I don't want to tighten this for now. So let's take a look at what we have for the barrel knot. So we'll just take our strands, take our, our barrel knot tube. So this is a um, one and a half inch or four centimeter uh, tube bead. They're super cheap. This one's kind of tarnished, so that's all I use it for. Um, you can buy some expensive ones, but for something like this, I would just get this because um, you can get 50 or 100 in a package for super cheap. So take our strands, put them all together, and set our tube next to it grab one of the strands doesn't matter top or bottom and this also doesn't matter which way you go you can go from top to bottom bottom to top doesn't matter 
So I'm going to go up. Now use your other fingers to kind of grab hold of stuff. So now you want to, the next strand around, you're going to go towards the button, always towards the button. Again, and we'll do one more like that. Okay, now I'm going to switch fingers carefully, holding on to the knot. And I'm going to enlarge this for you. Grab the strand you're working with, put it through the tube, and then you see it comes out the bottom like that. It's all the way through, and you're going to push your through like that. Now switch fingers again, holding on to the knot. Now you can pull out your tube and pull it off your leather and bring that through. So now this is super far away from our button. So we're going to adjust it. And I like to get my button sitting flat because when I put my bracelet on, I want this to show so that it's like that on my wrist. So you always see the button. So now, like I said, it's too far. So I want this knot over here. All you do is just kind of push, push it all up. There, like that. And I kind of want this strand to go through this loop. So let me see if I can get that in there. So that the um, that loop will actually sit next to Open this a bit. This is not part of doing a barrel knot. I'm just being a little obsessive because I like it. I like it to go where it's supposed to go. And of course, this is just that piece is getting soft, so it's. That's what it's so for whatever reason I missed that strand and let's find our strand that we are working with and tighten it like that perfect look at that and nice and tight everything's in there okay so now we can start putting our beads on so this is just Popping everything on. Uh, let me cut this on an angle, make it easier to thread like that. And try and do this randomly. And one of the ways that Jill Wiseman talks about doing random bead picking, I'll show you. She takes, she does this with seed beads, but She'll go like this. She'll squeeze a line out like this. And then make it even narrow. I don't, there's some pink beads in here that I don't want part of. I don't want any part of it. <laughs> so just narrow it as much as you can. And try to go from one end to the other, picking those beads. So then if there's doubles, no big deal but at least it's somewhat random. So let's see if we can. This is still, um, these uh, ceramic ones must be uh, narrower than the first ones I worked with. And they do vary, so. Oh. 
there. Oh, that's going to look lovely. Yeah, very spring feeling. I'm, uh, I was trying to poke them like you would seed beads, but I have to pick them up, I think. And it could be too, this leather's a little thicker. Um, it doesn't, doesn't look like it, but... This also has a very retro feel, the kind of yellow, green, brown look to it, which I love, which is funny because when I was a kid, I <clears throat> hated it, or a teenager, because we didn't have any really nice looking colors for clothes i'm trying to get this is like a pile of reds here so. there. So I have, um, I had reordered all of these. Once I got them, I realized how beautiful they were. I left them in the package. Well, we should test this because this is getting pretty long. I'm wondering if I could do a double with this. So right there is the one. Let me see. It's slightly too short, so that's fine. So let's go for another one here. Um, what I wanted to ask you guys is what do you think about um, ASMR unboxings? I was looking for some bead unboxings with ASMR. Uh, somebody had mentioned I should do it because I have a very calming voice. Um, so I don't know if I should do. So I have a few things I've saved. So there's the, these ceramic beads I've saved. And then I have some crystals that I've saved for unboxing. And I think there's one more big thing that was like a repeat of other stuff. So I'm just curious what people think of it. I looked at some videos and I'm shocked at some of the stuff that's ASMR and like the whispering and I just like, I find the whispering creepy. Now, when I whisper, it's usually jokingly like, shh, don't tell my wife. So I would have a hard time doing a... It's some art video going, aren't these beads just beautiful? They're so gorgeous. You just want to lick them. <laughs> and that's what you're like, is somebody talking? I can barely hear them. And then you turn up the volume, you're like, oh my God, they're creeping me out. I The way I look at it, just regular unboxings are like the a ASMR of the bead world because you're basically shopping um, for somebody else in a sense where, you know, they get to see what's out there and whatnot. I don't know. <laughs> and you know what? Do I really want to get that many views? Like I want, I like the way the channel's going and I like the community aspect of it. So I don't want to do something and inadvertently mess up this cool thing that we have. 
So this is really turning out nice. Yeah. Let me get and try my list. I actually think the short one here is the better one like for the width but that's all that way let me try that again the beads are all coming down do need to take some off so maybe at the this red mark of the long one and then let's see if the other one has enough so maybe add one to this one here okay this is going pretty quick this is, you could say, ASMR in itself. It's a bit. Let's see if we can move those guys out of the way. Let's put this one in here. I'm only talking low right now just because I am tired and I'm just like, you know, you get in those moods where you're like, yeah, I'm just chilling. So that's where I'm at right now. A teeny tiny one. Okay, let's see what we got with this one. Still got about ten more to go. There. I'll have to look. I have a cup well a couple. <laughs> There's like one, two, four, six. Uh forty eight bins. Oh, that did that's not right. <laughs> Six and six is twelve. Twenty-four bins. That's better. Of check glass beads, like random different ones and stuff. That I should take a look and see if I have any bigger holes to do some of this with that. Oh, I just love and I love the the beige color. It reminds me of the little toy, push toy that kids had, that had the little, it was like a lawnmower and it had little bubbles, balls, and they push it and they pop up. That's what this reminds me of, these colors. But that may be just because it's reminding me of that time. Oh, this is going to look amazing. Oh, and you could twist it too. Ooh, that's what I should do. You can have it and see flat. Oh, this is looking amazing. Look at that. Okay, one more to go. But yeah, I was thinking twisting would be awesome too. Let's get this one on. Okay. Oh, I need to clip this.
I feel like putting one all red. Rando! Emma's going off script. Very rando. Orange. I need me some orange. Call in the orange. These beads are just beautiful. Look at them. What I like about this too is I like that once I have it done and on my wrist, you can use it as like a worry stone. So you can play with the beads, the smoothness of the beads. So let me see where we're, let's see where we're to. So we need a few on here. Three there. Try and straighten them out a bit. And then maybe one on here. It needs a yellow. And then two on the last one. There. And let's see what that gives us. That is beautiful. Let's move these out of the way so we can see how lovely they are. Oh, this is crazy. That is. Oh my gosh. It's delicious. Oh, I really like it. I really like it, Mommy. Can I keep it? So I'm trying to see which way the leather is wanting to bend. So I might have to turn my button the other way. Yeah, that's that's the ticket. Okay, so let's try that again. That is amazing. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's get our barrel knot. Now, I'm gonna try and, they're all, this one needs another one here. Try and keep them somewhat even even though they're pretty organic. Let's do one and one. Here and here. And then they're super even. We'll put our barrel knot. And I wanted to put a bird charm on there but you know what we've got the bird button so I don't think we need it okay. so this is where you would you could do some crisscrossing like that
so you could do something like that. But I kind of like just the leave it be organic. Okay, so pull it tight. Okay, and then grab your strands and take your tube, stick it in there. Now make sure you get a longer strand. This one's kind of short. That was probably the one I used for. So let's go like this. And around, always working towards your button. Like that. Okay, and then pop it through the button. That's, I did that wrong, sorry. It's because I'm holding the wrong hand. Go through the top of the hole so that it goes through the middle of all your strands. Now I'm going to switch hands and I'm going to pull that tube in my leather. And we're just, we're going to leave it at that spot because I kind of wanted a bit of give there. There. And just let's squeeze a bit. The leather kind of moves around and you can squeeze it to the shape you want. So now we need to do our opening for our button. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to figure out where our button is going to fit, so we'll say about there. So let's take our tube and find a long strand again and wrap it once, twice, three, four. I did four for this one. Makes it a bit chunky, but there we go. Put our end through the tube and then switch fingers holding on to your knot so it doesn't come apart before you tighten it. That's the one you want to tighten. Before we tighten it, let's check our button size. Lots of room. And nice and tight. There, like that. And the leather's really giving because it stretches. So. so now we have this at the end. And this is where I like to put knots instead of um, dangly pieces. So let's... And you can either just do a basic knot or you can use your tube. Makes it a little easier cleaner looking, so just twice around, hang on to everything, put it through the hole of the tube, switch fingers, pull your leather and your tube off, and I'm going to take a look at, I think I'm going to push it up slightly. This is about the length of my tassel that I want. So as I'm pulling it tight, it's going up a bit. And that's it. Just squeeze everything there. So it looks like a little cross on this side, but it looks like two that way. And because that's tight, it's not going anywhere. You can, I cut it on an angle short like about there there's your first tassel so you might want to go longer it's a big bracelet so i think it might have been better to go slightly longer but you can also do different lengths let's do the next one so maybe doing this a few times you'll get an idea as to how to do it so twice around hang on to that and put it through 
your tube all the way that way slip through pull your tube out and yeah I think I will so this one I put three I probably should have put two yeah I put three so I think I should be able to undo this I got so excited. I can't help myself. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> try it again. One, two. Yeah, I went too far the last time. Hang on to it, pull it through, pull everything through, and tighten your knot. So I'm doing just a slightly longer one, so that might suit it. And then clip this off. Switch fingers, pull it through, and take a look. Yeah, let's might as well keep going that way. There. Got that. And we'll do one slightly longer, and that, that will look really nice. One, two, perfect. Lovely. And that is your last knot. My last knot. This is looking amazing. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I can't believe it. This is stunning. can see this here with the tassels let me bring this out a bit there so there it is that is lovely so hopefully this will get you excited for spring and maybe if the weather's not too bad you can get outside and go for a walk or we're supposed to get some warm weather so I'm hoping I might get out for a bike ride that would be awesome. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these bracelets. They're so much fun to make. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.